My name is Amoko Boafo and I am an artist. I learned everything myself from the beginning. I mean, as a kid, I have a few friends that were also interested in drawing, so we would just sit and compete and see who is best at drawing. And that's how it started. I do portraiture and I do figuration. When I do portraiture, I like flat colors because I want a background that complements the portrait, not something that, you know, disrupt or uh, take away something. So when I do portrait, I like to keep it simple so people can just, you know, get the, the, the expression. The people that are paying varies from friends to family to people that I admire to people that create space for other people to coexist in it. It's a finger painting technique. I just wear my gloves and I have my colors which will be umbed brown and blue and then I have some yellow and red and I do magic with it. Well, I mean, I love fashion. Uh, fashion inspires my work. And so I tend to look at characters that, you know, have that, that sense of style in fashion. And I mean, if you look at, you know, some of the paintings that I've been like um, Hatton in Big Blue Shirt, for example, you know, he's a model and I like his sense of fashion. So the interesting part for me, working with a fashion house is how they were able to transfer my finger painting technique onto uh, clothes. I really, really, really love his work and I wanted to work with an African artist for a long time because I grew up in Africa and African art is something that's always been important to me. We start with the idea of ivy, which is a very famous Dior dress. And when we were in Ghana, we saw a beautiful new work of his, which had a guy in an ivy shirt. And that was the starting point for the ideas of taking the textures and the prints and the patterns from his work and the colors and really turning that into the portraits coming to life. The styling of the collection is really looking at his painting and seeing the characters he created and what he was painting in reality and then bringing it back to life in a different way.
Originally, the idea was for a show, which you know now is impossible to do, and I completely appreciate why. Um, so we looked at the idea of focusing on his life and his subject and his portraits, creating something that is very dior, but portrait of an artist that I greatly admire.